Hello my darlings, welcome back to another video. Thanks for joining me for today's instalment of things Josie's doing while in self-isolation. So today I, okay, confession time, I'm still in my pyjamas. <laughs> A very cute pyjama, so having said that. Um, but I have been filming some TikToks this morning, hence why my hair and my makeup is done. But today I have been, so I've been trying to set myself a challenge to do one thing really well and really productively while I have been spending time at home and hopefully with the things that I'm doing, they're all things that you guys can do as well. So my task today is to have a really big beauty product clear out. It has been a very long time since I last had a clear out. With my job I create fashion and beauty content here on YouTube and on my Instagram and things like that. Um, so I'm very lucky to receive quite a lot of newness from brands. And as a result, my beauty collection is a lot bigger than average, I would say. And there are a lot of pieces which I try out when I'm very kindly sent them, but maybe they don't work perfectly for my skin tone. They might not be quite the right color for me, or maybe I just think that my friends would enjoy them more than I would. So there's a lot of movement, let's say, within my beauty products. Despite this, they really do build up and first world problem but just the same as when I talk about clearing out your wardrobe and all the benefits that that has like being able to put together an outfit more easily having a more cohesive idea of what you have and what you don't have I think the same can be said about a beauty collection if you've got too many products then you lose track of what you've got for example the other day I was rummaging through one of the drawers totally forgot about this particular hourglass palette and I love that palette so I'm hoping that today I'm gonna to be able to get rid of a lot of things and really take stock of the products that I love and the products that I want to be getting more use out of I'm going to be sending a lot of the unopened unused products um, to our local charity shop which also distributes to homeless people um, of course I'm I'm going to be giving so many away to family and friends. So anyway, without further ado, darlings, let's switch you into vlog mode and go over to my beauty cupboard and start this big collection tour and clear out. Okay, so this is my beauty area. As you can tell, we are doing this as a real life beauty collection and clear out as opposed to a perfect YouTube edited version. This always ends up being the dumping ground so I've got jewellery that I was wearing yesterday, I've got stuff from deliveries, I've got my phone, I've got my notebook. Everything always ends up cluttering on this area so the first thing I'm going to do is give this area a tidy up so that we've got some space to work on. Okay, so obviously it's still not mega tidy, um, but because I want this to be a process of also decluttering, I'm not going to bother doing a major tidy right now. So let me show you um, at the moment where everything is stored, and to be honest I will probably still store in the same places after tidying out, tidying everything out, um, but hopefully there'll be a little bit less and it'll be a lot more organised. So, at the moment this is my foundation drawer or my base product drawer. So this here at the top is where most of my foundations and a few of my products that I reach for on a regular basis are. I would say this is my most used drawer. Um, so we've got a few different powders from my really fancy Le Mer powder to this one here from Laura Mercier. Um, I've got a few of my Bare Minerals original skin foundations, which I love. Annoyingly of the few that I've got, they're all nearly finished, so I'm going to try and use those up. Then I've also got some things like eyeshadow quads in here, like this gorgeous one from Tom Ford. Um, I have got blushes here, this I think is... This one here is from Code 8 Beauty. So there's a real mixture of products in here. Um, so many in fact that a lot of them are quite dirty, a lot of them I actually forget that I've got and there's some really good things in here like a really wearable NARS eyeshadow palette but because there's just so much in here I tend to forget what I've got. So what I'm going to do eventually is actually lie a towel down on the floor like I have done in previous beauty clear outs and put everything of each product type together and then I'll be able to see exactly how many foundations I've got, how many powders I've got, how many eyeshadows and then really cherry pick the best. So it's going to be a really big task. I've got things in here as well like, um, what do you call them, like handbag foundations, cushion foundations, so this is a favourite one from Guerlain. Really beautiful limited edition products in here as well like this glow powder from Shantakai with the most beautiful pearl lid, I absolutely love that. 
there's even like broken products in here for example this highlight from Shantikai it is my absolute favorite highlight as you can see it's totally smashed but I just love it so much and it's my favorite highlight that I've ever found so I still keep that in there same with this super super old palette from Bare Minerals I use the bronzer the blush and the highlight on a regular basis so something that I don't want to get rid of even though I really should because I use it so often um, and then this is where it's going to be tricky because I've got a few products gosh I'm butterfingers today um, a few products that are really premium and really good products like this Kevin O'Quan foundation balm but I just don't use them that regularly I've got my favorites like I know I love my bare minerals original skin I know I love for example my La Mer foundation so things that are really top quality but I just don't use that regularly I'm not too sure what to do with because you can't send something that's been lightly used to a charity shop I don't know how my friends would feel about that so yeah I'm gonna have to make a decision on what to do with those as you can see, I've got a few applicators in here as well. I'm using this the most at the moment. It's my By Terry blending sponge, along with the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Foundation. That's my go-to everyday base at the moment because it's so lovely and hydrating. And then a few palettes as well. I've got another really beautiful highlight in here from Tom Ford. Um, another By Terry, Hyal By Terry Hyaluronic powder. That's the tinted version. And then loads more like eyeshadow quads and things like that in there. And then a real mixture of different products in here. There's no organisation as you can see, like there's bronzers mixed in with palettes. I love this one from Charlotte Tilbury. Again, I need to use that more. Then we've got more beauty sponges in there. I've got more foundations. So everything just needs a really thorough organisation. So if you thought that drawer was full, wait until you see inside this drawer. So this is my creams, serums, moisturizers, primers, spot creams. There is, there's just so many things in here. So I've got everything from like Laura Mercier primer. I've got the most gorgeous, I love this plant gold serum from Clarins. Um, got the really beautiful, very lightweight antioxidant face serum from the Organic Pharmacy. Hydrating rose face serum from Fresh. Then we've got my Everyday SPF Great 8, um, 8 Hour from Elizabeth Arden, Spot Cream from Ren, love that. These are incredible. These are the Adaptive Tan Tanning Drops from Oskia. I will mix these in with my Everyday Serum, whichever it might be, um, and it just gives you a really beautiful gradual tan. Absolutely love that. And then we've got loads of other things in here that I don't use quite as regularly. This is the Silver Skin Lotion from Moravixa, really good if you've got lots of under skin blemishes. Anti pollution drops from Dr. Barbara Sturm. I've got eye creams in here, Emma Hardy, lovely moisturizers like Glossier. Um, love this one from Drunk Elephant as well. Also on the top here, I've got moisturizers, Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. We've got some capsules here, like these vitamin C capsules from Oskia. I've not even tried those yet. Radiant Day Shield from the Organic Pharmacy, a brand new eye cream from Liz Earl. There's often so much newness coming in that I just don't really get a chance to stick to a routine. I've been trying to finish up this one, but now that I've been sent this eye cream from Liz Earl, I want to swap over, even though this one from Ever Hardy is not quite finished yet. Even, for example, this La Mer Regenerating Serum. Obviously, that is so luxurious and something that I really want to be using on an everyday basis, but then I was sent this one from Clarins, so I switched over. So it's constantly... I've constantly got products that are, like, halfway through being used, so you can't really give them to someone else. So, yeah, first world problem. I tend to pick and mix depending on what my skin needs that day. So, for example, we've got a Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin B5 Serum from Glossier if my skin is super dehydrated got a really lovely rich eye cream here from Les Earl, an SPF 50 from a brand called Volition. There is just so much stuff in here. And then we've got my, my things like my Jade Roller and my Rose Quartz Roller that I love to use when I do put on a slightly more oily serum, such as the Clarins. Another blemish preventing serum, this one here from Tropic. Um, another lovely moisturizer from Bobbi Brown. So again, just too many of the same thing. So obviously I'm making a bit of a mess as I go, but we will get through it, I promise. So this little area here is like my lip balm overflow. In this chest of drawers, I've got lip balms at the top, but I just have so many. We've got these beautiful new lip oils from Dior, the most gorgeously packaged Rouge à Lèvres from YSL. Then we've got this new one, like a beautiful, beautiful watermelon one from Glow Recipe. 
This was from an Estee Lauder recent collection. Um, and then we've got some super premium lip balms from brands like Decorte. So yeah, lip balms tend to cluster in that area. I've got a face mask here that I've been really enjoying using lately. It's from Herbivore. It's, um, it's their prism mask. So it's AHA and BHA. I absolutely loved using that. So I've kind of just got it on the surface to remind myself to use it every now and then. I don't have a bulb in this section. Obviously this is my Hollywood mirror. Makes the camera go a bit crazy. But I tend to have um, my makeup brushes in the front here. So I took the bulb out of this lower one. But these are my smaller makeup brushes. And then up on the top of my drawers I have got my slightly bigger makeup brushes. So this little drawer unit has got the rest or most of the rest of my makeup. As I mentioned before at the top we've got my lip balms. Um, this ranges from really intense lip balms such as the Lana Lips which I absolutely love and then you've got more tinted lip products such as this lovely Honey Blush. Um, I really like the kind of neutral pink shades. This one from Origins. Then we've got again from Code 8. This is one of my favourites. Really lovely and moisturising but gives a little bit of colour Glossierbalm.com, we've got some really luxurious ones from Le Mer um, and Dior, things like that. So that's my lip balm area, as you can see it's overflowing, got some on the top here and then the other lip balms down there. Then we get to more lipsticks. I probably don't have a massive lipstick collection compared to many other beauty bloggers. I tend to know what colours I like and only keep those. There are also some lip balms in here as well, like this lovely one from By Terry, which I do think I need to chuck out because it's actually broken. So the lip balm has managed to find its way into the lid. So yeah, I need to chuck out stuff like that. Um, then I've also got this lovely Kiehl's butter stick lip treatment and Bobbi Brown lip balms but then also some of my favourite lip colours so we've got Insatiable Ivory from Estee Lauder, really lovely pinky nude that I wear very regularly, my Tom Ford's, um, some MAC lipsticks, this is Mull It Over so a kind of matte pinky brown shade, they're all that very lovely pinky brown tone, a few different Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, I'll go through all of those later. Oh I didn't mention but obviously I've got my perfumes on the top here, another lip balm, um, a, couple of <laughs> lip, a couple of extra lip balms but my like everyday Perfumes that I reach for most frequently are on the top here. So we've got my Flower Bomb, Flower Bomb Dew, um, Flower Bomb Nectar, and my handbag size Flower Bomb. Can you tell I love it? And also the literally the handbag bottle. So you twist this one up, spray it, very, very handy. And then if I want something a little bit different, I've got my Gucci Bloom. I love the Chloe fragrances as well, so I've got that here. And then this is kind of my um, more casual day going to the gym fragrance or just going out to run errands. It's a lot lighter. It's Liz Earl Botanical Essence number 15. I absolutely love that. So then moving down, we have got this next drawer, which has got lip glosses, a few extra lipsticks, some special things like this sparkly, I don't know if you can really see it, but this like glittery lipstick from NARS. That would have been a Christmas special. Then we've got some matte liquid lips um, and lip liners. Same again, a few slightly more long lip products and a few of my favourite lipsticks again. So we've got Sable Smoke from Tom Ford. These Bite Beauty Matte Creme Lip Crowns, absolutely love those. My favourite lip gloss at the moment, this is the Lip Glass from MAC in the shade. Oh, it doesn't actually have a shade number on it, but it's beautiful. A stray lip balm, another lip balm here from Vichy. I swear, I just have lip balms everywhere. Lip gloss here, I think that's, yeah, Estee Lauder, that's a lip repair elixir. I'm gonna pop some of that on now. Next one down and finally we move on to lashes. So this is mostly my mascara drawer, which it's weird that I have so many considering I very rarely wear mascara because I have had individual lash extensions on for the last, pretty much the last year. So I definitely need to keep maybe two or three of these and get rid of the rest. Down again and we've got my brow drawer. There's also a few miscellaneous things in here like liquid liquid eyeliner in the most unusual copper shade from Marc Jacobs. I've got my Glossier Boy Brow, Anastasia Brow Wiz, Benefit Brow Contour. This is really good. This is the You Do You Brow and Lash Gel from Collection. Really good affordable brow gel. Then we've randomly got a highlight in here, Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm. 
Next one down is mostly concealers, but then also randomly a mini travel size mascara and a few more coloured eye products. But mostly concealers, we've got Tom Ford, we've got Bare Minerals, NARS, um, we've got a Borean CC Eye Concealer, uh, Glossier, Estee Lauder, more Bare Minerals. So all my concealers in there, and I mean, who needs that many concealers? It is a little bit, a little bit ridiculous. Single eyeshadows next, so I love these pots from Tom Ford, you get a really beautiful colour, in fact that's not even been used, and then a glitter, a glitter shade on the top. This rose gold one I absolutely love, so nice for the festive season because this top is just so sparkly. Then we've got um, Crystal Whips from Too Faced, really lovely metallic eyeshadow, these are really effective. One of my oldest eyeshadows, this is just a really lovely neutral from Christian Dior. I definitely think that is going off. It's actually starting to shrink from inside the packaging. The powder is now smaller than the actual hole, so about time I got rid of that. Although I have to say, I've probably had that since before I started blogging. And then in the bottom we have just got a few miscellaneous extra products. To be honest, I totally forgot I even had these. So these are some really lovely eyeshadows from MAC. I absolutely love these shades. They're really wearable and I should wear them more. I just completely forgot that I had them. And then these two new concealers from Dior. Again, I really like those, but I just didn't have room for them in my concealer drawer. So I actually ended up forgetting about them. Another lovely highlight from Tom Ford. I think this is a blush palette. Yep. But I forgot that I had it from Estee Lauder and a really lovely Gen Nude blush from Bare Minerals. So as you can see I also have a few products like tucked away either side. This is a serum that I'm very much enjoying using at the moment. It's the Glow Illuminating Elixir from Sarah Chapman. Usually I'm putting this on in the mornings on those days when I have a little bit longer to get ready. It does sit on the skin for a little while so it's really nice to use with your rose quartz roller um, and just give yourself a little bit of a pamper with. I've also got a face mist from Elizabeth Arden, Great Hour Face Mist, just super refreshing. Also got one from L'Occitane around here and my Foreo devices. And then on this side, it's more hand creams, random pillow spray. This is a hand cream from Caudalie, really good because it's actually anti-dark spots. So great if you have got any dark spots on your hands. And then this is obviously a really luxurious one from Le Mer. But what I love the most actually is this. So this is the rejuvenating hand serum. So you pop this, obviously I've got makeup on the backs of my hands now, um, but you pop this on the backs of your hands because, in fact, let's just get rid of the makeup. So you pop it on the backs of your hands and then rub the backs of your hands together and it's really good for anti-aging, super hydrating and perfect if you're washing your hands like a crazy person at the moment with all of this virus scare. And then this is where we start to charter into unknown territory. There is a lot of product under here ranging from really gorgeous palettes like again i completely forgot that i owned this the most beautiful eyeshadow palette from estee lauder which i've probably had since it came out last summer a few shades in here that i don't tend to use like purples but then some really lovely neutrals browns and like shimmering browns in there as well we've got false lashes we've got more primers we've got some really nice palettes in here like hourglass palettes um, we've got some skincare like my Elizabeth Arden Vitamin C capsules, we've got some of the palettes that I made myself uh, by Terry, the by Terry counter in Selfridges, I do reach for these actually really regularly. And then some long lost palettes like this one from Dior, but again it's got some really really wearable brown shades, loads of primers in here by Terry. <laughs> we've got everything in here, we've got mouthwash tablets, false lashes, hydrating face mist it is just a mess there's all of my face mist here as well ranging from my tanning ones my oskia we've got sheet masks so basically a lot of rubbish in these drawers it really needs to be sorted out 
So as you can tell, this is going to be a pretty mammoth task, but I do need to have a really big sort out. So what I'm going to do now is basically take everything out of the drawers, lie a towel down on the floor and really section everything off, try and get all my foundations together, all my lipsticks together and try and get rid of about half. It's going to be, it's going to be tough, but I'm going to try and get rid of half this stuff to make it a little bit more organized. Okay, I'm going to pop a YouTube video on in the background to keep me from going insane, but let's give it a go. Okay, so if you are going to do this at home, make sure you put something down on the floor because you never know if something is going to stain um, or something's going to leak and fall out. So I'm going to start by putting this down. Okay, so now that my floor is protected, let's get the products out. <laughs> So I'm starting with foundations, I'm going to lay every single product out and including ones which might have been in different drawers. I've also got my makeup bag here, my travel makeup bag, just so I make sure that I'm pulling all the different products from all different areas of my collection. This is going to be a long job so I'm just going to find something to watch on YouTube. I have recently become obsessed with the Buzzfeed Unsolved, um, so I'm just going to leave one of those on. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot of shuffling going on here. Um, these are the foundations that are remaining. So this was a pretty tough cull, I would say. I have mixed my two um, nearly empty Bare Minerals Originals into one and just kept one new one. Um, I've obviously got my my favourite liquid foundations, my By Terry, this is a really lovely serum one from The Ordinary, got my NARS Sheer Glow, Le Mer, and then two BB creams. I've kept one from By Terry and one from Eborian. This, this I was close to getting rid of, it is a foundation stick from Tom Ford, but then I just applied some and it is so so nice and there's quite a lot left in here. There's a significant amount of product still in here so that's really good as like a mix between a foundation and a concealer because it's pretty high coverage. I've also developed a bit of a system so in here these are pretty well used products and then in this bag it's products which are pretty new so for example I had this Tom Ford cushion foundation which is really snazzy it comes in its own kind of carry case but it is completely brand new so I've popped brand new things in this bag here and anything which is pretty old and out of date is obviously going straight in the bin. So we've done well with foundations, maybe not quite halved but we're getting there. Uh, next I'm going to do bronzers and blushes. already my bag of things to donate to friends and family products which are either unused or very lightly used that bag is already full um, so what I'm going to do is put some things back in the drawer so all my foundations I am going to put them in this little glossy box lid there's now a lot less so hopefully they will all fit in here including my CC creams and my bare minerals I have also massively cut down my powders and my bronzers. I actually only have the bronzers within my Hourglass palette um, and this big Tom Ford one left, although I'm pretty sure I have actually got a couple more um, lying around which I will come to and then I've got this lovely By Terry Sunny Flash powder which also makes a beautiful bronzer. It's things like these hourglass palettes that I just forget to reach for when there's just so much stuff everywhere and I really want to get more use out of them. That's a really nice powder. And then my contour, what's it called, Film Star Bronze and Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. Blusher wise, we've done quite well as well. I've just got three left, Charlotte Tilbury, Estee Lauder and YSL. All really lovely kind of brownie pinks. So we're gonna, I don't know, maybe I should stack these sideways. 
this feels like a really makeshift way of having having everything um, organized so maybe i'll come up with a better solution but for now while we reduce the collection size and then powder wise i'm just keeping this one from by terry oh i've just realized there's a load up here yep totally forgot about all of this stuff okay um so when it comes to highlight i just only really reach for this chantecaille so i'm just going to keep that one get rid of tom ford i just can't bring myself to get rid of this charlotte tilbury palette it really is gorgeous so that's going to go in there this bronzer from la mer is probably the nicest one in my collection so i'll pop that back then i've got this little powder which is from la mer it's quite old it's almost hitting pan but it is really useful to have a pressed powder powder in here as well as the loose powder that i've got from by terry so I probably will keep this one as well because it's good for like midday top ups. The coloured powder from By Terry I don't use quite as much but that is nearly new so I'm going to pop that in there. And then we've got this big one from Laura Mercier, the loose setting powder. That's This is really good in summer when I get a little bit more shiny so I'll just pop that one to the back. And then as I showed you earlier this palette from Bare Minerals, it's got the bronzer, the blush and the highlight. This is what I'm pretty much using on an everyday basis so I'm still going to keep that one as well. This is just too pretty to get rid of, this is why I struggle. This one from NARS, I find these shades a little bit too cool so even though it's in good condition I'm going to put it in that bag there. And then I've got a couple of really beautiful palettes here from Tom Ford. I just don't need both of them. I feel like I use this one more. And again, these aren't really my perfect shades, so I'm gonna get rid of that one and then keep my By Terry palettes. And this eyeshadow from NARS, this is the Skin Deep palette that's got loads of shades which I really like to use. So that's gonna go in there. So this drawer is now looking a lot more organized. I am going to keep it out just in case anything needs switching at a later date. Okay, so next I've got out all of my lip sticks, lip balms, lip glosses, um, at least I think this is everything. Yes. So what I'm going to do is now separate this into lipsticks, lip balms, um, matte lipsticks and things like that just so I can clearly see how many of each type that I have. doing very well when it comes to lipsticks. I'm just about to go and wash my arm because I have been doing a lot of swatching as you can tell. Anything that is just not my favourite kind of shade I have been either putting in the bin or in the bag to let my friends have a rummage through but I really do only kind of wear brownie pinks like that kind of shade um, so anything that's too different to that I have been getting rid of. So I've managed to whittle it down to these lipsticks here. We have got a mixture of liquid lips. We've got some, um, obviously the classics like my Tom Ford, my Estee Lauder and a few Charlotte Tilbury's. Just a mixture of really lovely, very wearable lipstick shades. I guess I'm quite lucky that I stick to, stick to what I know and love and I don't really tend to get too out there when it comes to my lipstick colors so I don't have to have a huge variety. And then these are the lip balms that I'll be keeping. This is obviously a ridiculous amount of lip balms, but they're just so useful and I do use them very regularly. I've also got some products here uh, like this one from Dior, Estee Lauder, which are kind of tingly volumizing products. And then some tinted lip balms as well, as well as the like classic, really hardcore healing lip balms. So I'm just gonna go and wash my arm before I get any of this on my lovely pajamas. And then we're gonna move on to lip liners. <laughs>
So getting rid of lip liners was not quite as successful, um, but they don't take up that much space, so I don't see the problem in keeping too many. Obviously, once again, this is far more lip liners than any human ever needs, so, and they're all really, really similar, um, but I don't really think the lip liners go off as such. I've obviously just sharpened them all. I'm not going to worry too much about popping them in my handbag, taking some out with me, because I definitely have plenty to keep me going. A few of my favourites, um, so I love this one from Bare Minerals, this is the shade Gen Nude Borderline, that's a real favourite. Obviously Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, I absolutely love this one, um, all the writing is pretty much gone from it but that is Victoria Beckham's Estee Lauder collaboration lip liner. And then there's also one in here from Kevin O'Quan. Uh, this one here, this is the Flesh Tone lip pencil and I would say this is the most versatile in my collection. So I've just popped the sharpener and my two remaining lip glosses. I've kept the Charlotte Tilbury Can Trope and this MAC lip gloss as my only two. I don't wear lip gloss that often but when I do those are my favourite colours. The MAC one is just a really pretty pink whereas the Charlotte Tilbury is kind of like a really flattering corally pink so lovely for summer. So I think I've done a fairly good job on my three lip drawers and I actually now have a spare drawer which is very exciting. Maybe I'll use that for, um, I don't know, maybe I'll use it for beauty sponges seeing as I have quite a few of those and I'm going to pop these back in the drawer unit. <laughs> So perhaps unsurprisingly, this is taking a very long time. It is now half past six in the evening um, and I kind of just want to go downstairs and chill for a bit and start thinking about what to have for dinner. So seeing as the room is somewhat of a bomb site, I'm going to carry on tomorrow, but I've kind of been waiting for the opportunity for my room to be a mess to do that like bomb throwing tidy up thing on TikTok. So I'm gonna quickly, hopefully, film one of those and I will continue in the morning. <laughs> 